Hey, it's Chris from the Blockade Pinball Podcast. Doing another Let's Play video, uh, daily challenges from the Williams Pinball app from Zen. And uh, today we're going to be doing a little theater of magic one ball because you guys apparently like seeing the one ball challenges. Thanks Twitter for doing that poll for me. Um, let's dive right in and see what happens. Okay, so 768,000, which doesn't sound terrible for Theater of Magic, but it ain't easy. This is a premium challenge on hard. This is going to be one of those things where I'm just going to try and light, uh, if I can, get the clock advanced to midnight and do a little uh, Midnight Madness worth tons of points. But otherwise, I'm going to also be shooting captured balls, get my Vanish going. Because I like those 40 million point drops. Of which I get one doing Vanish, one getting 6 p.m. Which I should get one right here. Boom, 40 million. Let's get another Vanish going. Yep. Gotta hit that captured ball. Try it again. No. I hit everything but. Advance the time a little. Seven o'clock. Focus, focus. Now the other thing I really should be doing is shooting. Uh, you that center staircase, well, either staircase, actually, to light magic so I can get the ball lock going. Shoot up the center staircase. So I am going to need that. Oh, I found a secret hidden space. Which is effective also for getting the ball lock going. There we go, now vanishes lit. Vanish it, get another 40 million. Boom. Now I will want to also shoot the clock lane. So that'll give me Tiger Saw Multi Ball. Like so. And all those times practicing hitting the captured ball come into play now. Although I like to do this backhand action. Thwack. Of course, often leads to a drain, but still satisfying to me. All right, let's lock the ball. Lock the ball. And then we will see about getting the 100 million uh, hurry up shot. You have the magic. Which is. If you can lock a ball or lock and put the ball into the trunk within three seconds or five seconds, I can't remember which, I think it's three seconds, um, you'll get 100 million. So you gotta be quick. Yeah, three seconds and boom, we got it. So that's 100 million right there, and now let's see if we can relight and get another jackpot going. We are still not even halfway done. Got another jackpot, 70,000, or 70 million, I should say. But lost the multi ball, so no more of those. Alright. So, back to either doing the vanish again, get another 40 million, or we will get the clock going to midnight. Which I think we're at 9 o'clock right now. Okay, we're over halfway. Focus, focus. Not that time is really a factor. The vanish ball again. No, don't shoot. Why am I shooting for the magic trunk? <laughs> Sometimes I can't help myself. It's just like, no, it says shoot for it. Go for it. So, 
Sometimes you gotta go for it. Levitating woman. And then I just plain ignore what the task at hand is. So I'm trying to get the uh, the clock advance again. It's hard to do in a rolling shot. Shoot up the center staircase. See, I can't hit that shot to save my life when I want to, but... We got another ball lock going on? Okay, we'll do that. I can go for ball locks, or I can go for... Ooh, 11 o'clock. Nope, I'm going for Midnight Madness. Either or, I guess. Whatever comes first. Either getting the ball locked or... There we go. Midnight Madness. Boom. 26 million. Does look a little countdown, but I should be able to nail this enough times to finish it off. Uh-huh. Let's get a couple more of those. 22 million. So in case you're wondering, it goes down every clock hit. Or clock strike, I should say. Can we ball locked? Okay. The second ball is locked. I don't know, is it still running? It's still running at the moment, but what happens when I hit? It's a question I don't know the answer to. Okay, so... Oh, I just ran out. Okay, I get it. So it doesn't let you do Midnight Madness with multi-ball, apparently. So we can do another... Any jackpot will uh, send us over the edge. I mean to get it from the left flipper, though. Boy, <laughs> just saying, I totally blew, totally blew getting the jackpots on that, though, didn't I? All right, what do we got coin-wise? Oh, just table parts. Okay, I'll accept those two because they're important when you actually need the table parts, but you can kind of guess when I recorded this <laughs> based off the fact that other times I'm collecting only coins because I've already got all my table parts. Um, yeah, so one ball theater of magic. Um, you need to get those big jackpots. That's all that you're working towards. So it's getting, uh, again, hit and vanish. Uh, so capture ball three times, vanish 40 million, then getting your uh, uh, the clock at least to 6 o'clock to get the 40 million off of that. Uh, and then it's getting your ball locks going and trying to get those uh, huge, giant jackpots. Um, so I did kind of a combination of, of everything. You, I mean, that's what you're going to wind up having to do. I could care less about what the illusion is. I never attempt it because the illusion shots are almost designed to drain the ball. And it's really hard to just plain ignore what the illusion is. But... With Theater of Magic, it doesn't care if you complete the illusion or not. It'll still light it. Uh, so if you're going for wizard mode, at least the first uh, cycle, it's kind of like Twilight Zone, where the, the first cycle through all the, the lighting of everything, it doesn't matter if you complete the mode or not. It's only on your subsequent cycles that it, it actually does. Uh, but we never have to go that far in the daily challenge. It's totally unimportant. Uh... So it's just purely a matter of of working those loops on the the outer edge, uh, and then getting those locks going. It's kind of it's tedious, and you're gonna get some cheap drains that'll uh, no doubt bug you. But just stay away from those center shots. If you accidentally hit them, great. But unless you're really good at aiming on them, which I'm not. 
uh, just stay away from them because those are what are going to give you the center drains. Those are what are going to give you the bad bounces to the outlines, um, which you're going to get some really hideous out, you know, bad unless you got Hocus Pocus going to save you. So beyond that, it's just uh, patience and chipping away at the score until you can eventually get there. All right, so that's it for this video. Stick around for uh, next time for more videos just like this. I appreciate uh, the viewing. Uh, hit me up down there on Twitter. Let me know what's going on and what you think. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Blockade Pinball channel on YouTube. That would be much obliged. And hey, did you know, I run a Twitch channel also. It's twitch.tv slash blockade underscore pinball. Uh, make sure you follow on that too, because I do lots of live playing of daily challenges, as well as doing skills challenges and uh, all manner of other stuff. Plus, that's where we're doing the podcast these days. So, anyway, uh, appreciate you watching. Talk to you again later. Bye bye. <laughs>